Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, on Friday, the Australian dollar plunged to a low of 75.60 before recovering and has slowly now grinded back towards 76 cents. Into this week, we have a huge amount of data to um, come out from the economic side. With the uh, start of the week with uh, the Fed, the EB, ECB, and also the US North Korean uh, meeting. So the markets will be very much on their toes. So starting with the Australian dollar at the moment, it's still challenging this level of 76 cents. Towards uh, 76.45 to 70, I do expect to see the market fail. Purely for the fact is that the RSI has broken beneath the midway point of 50 and also supporting from the stochastic, a bearish case. So I'm now looking towards the region of 75.70 and down to 75.15.25 with any advances I say to be seen as an opportunity to sell into. The euro since retreating from 118.50 is still a little bit hesitant to take the level to the top side. Therefore, we could see the market easily repeat this episode if we see a re-challenge and likely to fail at 118.5. Looking to the downside, a break of 117.60 would give further scope to 116.90, which is where I believe the market might find short-term buying. But from the RSI, it is looking further to a weaker bias. The dollar yen recaptures the top side at 110 and now looks towards a 110.55 level. A break above there would give further scope towards 111.15. Let's see how the market plays out. As I say, if the market does keep to this bullish tone from the technical point, can easily see a claim of 111. Support on the day comes in to around 109.80. The sterling outlook is still remaining weak with concerns since the rejection of 134.5 looking down towards the region of one, the low 133, with a target now seen around 132.70. This week we do have um, the Prime Minister Theresa May to talk more on the Brexit, so keep an eye out for that. And lo as long as with the um, figures to come out, out of the UK on inflation report to keep an eye also for that too. The gold outlook pretty much unchanged. There's a lot of dojis there and also a cap from 1,367 to a base of 1,288. Oh, nevertheless, the market is struggling and looking for direction and maybe waiting for the Fed to its announcement on this rate decision, which is high, highly likely now of a 25 basis point hike. On the day, though, range is seen 94.01. The oil outlook is struggling to the upside, but nevertheless, it's still persistent. And at the moment, still looking towards the break level or the, of the uptrend that comes in at 66.45.65. I do expect to see this to hold and eventually reach its target of 62.4080. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report. And also, I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and a new start to the week.